Dingus. All right, so we got Imans now coming through with a surfacing strategy as well. And look at that replace face command. He was yeah. able to quick so oh, quickly yeah. in there. I don't know what's going on underneath in his model, but I think he's got the underside cut oh, through. Oh, there yeah, it is. we got, got that uh, it's got both section of them view. Cut through, so wow, very nice from Imans. Quickly catching up and now looks to be neck and neck with Victor K. Imans choosing to maybe go through and create those ellipses first. So about a month ago, on November 11th, we hosted the finals of the 2023 World Championship of 3D CAD Speed Modeling. This was an epic tournament that started with 32 people from all around the world and culminated on November 11th with the final four. And we got together live and in person with some CAD enthusiasts and fans of the Too Tall Toby channel to watch this event in Lansdale, PA. And today we're going to take a look at the semi-final matchup between Victor K running SolidWorks and Imants running Onshape. And if you want to have some fun with this video, you can play along with against these runners. When I show the 2D drawing, you can grab a screen capture, maybe move that over to your second monitor, and then you can begin creating this model in your 3D CAD system and see how fast you are compared to these finalists. And uh, if you think you got what it takes, registration for the next tournament is already open, tutaltobi.com slash spring. So hopefully we'll see you in that next tournament, and I hope that you enjoy this epic Watch matchup. Right here. Enough talk. This CAD battle between SolidWorks and OnSheep begins in three, two, two one. one, go! What is the mass of this part in XX? XX grams. The tolerance is plus or minus two grams. We have magenta note there. The yellow fillet is radius nine. We have a magenta note there that on that back face of this dust cap, it's the same face. This is inspired by the dust cap on my vacuum cleaner at home. Oh, nice. nice. Okay, I was so, gonna ask you that question. Yep, so the dust cap, millimeters, ABS, both of our runners look like they're jumping into the software. Let's see this battle here. Victor K on the left, running SolidWorks. Imants on the right, running yeah. on shape. I have a feeling this is gonna go pretty quickly. Uh, these guys, this is something they probably, this this uh, this part has a few uh, angled uh, bases there. So, you know, look, look right away, Victor's uh, setting that up. He's yep. establishing those angles. Getting in there. Mm -hmm. And Iman's taking a very interesting oh, approach here. What, interesting. what are we seeing here from uh, Iman? Yeah, that's, uh, okay. We, may, maybe we're seeing a little bit of layout work here. Yeah, I'm possibly, not exactly possibly. sure what we're seeing here. Very interesting. Victor K on the left. Looks like both of our runners really are just kind of taking pause. Yeah. Trying to think, okay, hold on, hold on. This is the finals. This isn't gonna just At be... first glance, this looks like maybe a simple part, mm -hmm. but um, you know, if you've done if you've done enough CAD, you realize the uh, there's not quite there's no symmetry in this part. I mean, there's some symmetry, but yep. not in all the planes. Not in all the planes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it looks like Victor's putting down a lot of geometry in this first sketch, or at least a lot of uh, yeah, good references in the yeah, both sketch. of our runners noticing uh, there's there's it's not consistent. All of the the angles of all the faces are not consistent. I think both of yeah. our runners are looking yeah. at that and saying to themselves, "Okay, hold on, I have to, I have to rethink about my approach here." And so I think you can probably see that pretty clearly. Yeah, uh, on that print. When I see Imans is already uh, incorporating some of the geometry of that handle at the top mm -hmm. too. Right, exactly, exactly. And this is a model that you guys got to go through a model yesterday. I know yeah. We were having some fun yesterday. Yeah, right? yeah, oh, yeah. we were. It started out as like, uh, hey, yeah, this will be cool. We're going to just help you uh, test your models. And yeah. then about yeah. four six or five hours, hours <laughs> six hours in, <laughs> yeah. you guys were like, hey, uh, you saw uh, more? here, I got another one. <laughs> uh, this one's good. <laughs> Oh, look at look at Victor. He's made two planes that are at, at different angles there. Yeah. They're representing, I guess, the top and bottom and the inside of that part. That looks surfaces. like a surface surfaces. Surfaces, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry, surface. Very, yeah, very interesting there. approach there with surfaces. Maybe the first time we've seen surfaces in this tournament. Certainly, yeah. uh, f first time in the finals. In the finals, for sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these parts, I mean, you look at them and you're, you're always thinking, okay, is there a uniform thickness? Uh, yeah. It doesn't look like this part has that. So, you know, right. you're, you're thinking you're going to start using the shell command Always. right away. Yeah, yeah. It, might, it might end up uh, struggling a little, mm -hmm. yeah. And so Imans, we can see on the right, uh, trying to figure out how to, how to handle this kind of internal, uh, internal, Oh, we got a value that we got a value value donation uh, comes in from Kristen Marsh. Thank you oh, for eleven dollars eleven cents. Yeah. Thank you, Kristen. Nice. Uh, wow, great job. 
We got Vicky in the uh, moderator letting us know when stuff's coming in through tutaltobycom slash donate. So Zachary, thank you so much. Look at Zachary saying that uh, the Seattle has lithium in the water. Great for focus. Oh. <laughs> nice. Wow. That that, mean, that's okay. what that Nirvana song that's a, that's was about, great, right? Yeah. yeah, we'll have to have the next tournament there. Oh, you mean that's a reference to that? Oh, that makes, <laughs> that makes oh, a lot that makes of sense. sense. So many connections made today. Wow. Oh, look at... Oh, you know, you gotta, love, you gotta love the the uh, the UI and, and on shape. Look at that. Yeah, that's sexy. and I do yeah. like that default blue, like yeah, kind of shiny blue color. Yep. Yeah, the models nice. look really good in on shape. Very nice. Where, yeah, where else are you gonna see head to head cat? This yep. is it. This is the place to see head to head. Yeah, this is our chance to see different CAD systems. Interesting, Victor K creating that handle that's mm -hmm. going up the side there. Yep. Um, that handle we saw in the in the 2D print. We saw that there was a note that said that that rear face of the model. I mean, obviously you guys can see that dust cap has a round face for the the base, mm -hmm. but then that handle is going to have a straight face if you extrude it. And so yeah. How do you go about getting those two faces and to I, match? I up? will say when I modeled this part, everything was pretty pretty straightforward to me, except for that handle. That the handle gave me fits. Yep. Oh, yeah. I remember. A definite chance to see some dingus. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to see There's some, dingus. some dingus. All right. So we got Imans now coming through with a surfacing strategy as well. And look at that replace face command. He was no. able to quick so oh, quickly yeah. in there. I don't know what's going on underneath in his model, but I think he's got the underside cut oh, through. Oh, there yeah. It is. We, we got, got that uh, it's got both section of them view. Cut through. So, wow. Very nice from Imans. Quickly catching up and now looks to be neck and neck with Victor K. Imans yeah. choosing to maybe go through and create those ellipses first. I know that we talked about ellipses in that last model. Yeah. yeah. And hats off to you, Toby, for making a model that has ellipses. That's a. That's well, a yeah. It's not you don't see that all the time. Yeah. Thank you. That's uh, how you make sure that it actually aligns and locks in. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So this really is inspired off this uh, part on your vacuum cleaner. Yep. I'll show you. I'll show you. We go home oh, later okay. tonight. Okay. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so Iman's getting in here trying to create uh, this geometry of this part. I, I think if I remember correctly, I tried to model this one uh, in on shape as well. Uh, looks like he's coming in there with that dimension. Uh, very nice with that dimension. Oh, there. look what he's about to do, Victor. Yeah, he's, he's locating he's, those he's, elliptical holes. Well, well, Victor just made use of your favorite tool, Chris Smith, the uh, full round fillet. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I love very a full nice. round fillet. Yep. And now Victor looks to be attacking that rear section of oh, the handle. Oh. That. Victor just moving through like an absolute machine. Uh, really not yeah. making any mistakes, really not struggling, just kind of. Uh, right through. I wonder what he's doing with those those lines. Looks like he's making sure that that circle doesn't wrap all the way around so he can do a through all in both directions. Oh, I see uh, what yeah. he's doing. Yeah. Very yep. nice. Oh, Very he, nice. He cut the dingus off. Okay. Cut that dingus oh. off and gets into this uh, fillet around the, the rounded mm -hmm. edge there. We called that out on the drawing as well. Yeah. That's the Chris Smith feature right yeah. there. Yeah. Yep. Victor, okay. I think Victor's uh, going to have an answer very soon. He's yep. just got a really easy thing left to do. Yep. Yep, but sometimes that's when everything falls apart. You know? Yeah, that's right. We've all been there. Hey, in some fairness, though, to Imad, though, it is early over there in, in uh, Seattle. Right. So he, he's probably looking at what time is it over there? Although Victor's in the Pacific Northwest, too. <laughs> oh, okay. I think the same time zone. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. no excuses. But when you're older, though, that doesn't matter. We, you're, you get up, all, you're up, you're up, up early anyway. So. Yeah, exactly. These young kids, they yeah, struggle I mean, with the... Uh, he's probably, Imad's is probably still up from the night before. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Iman's okay. going through there, modeling up the interior profile of that handle, uh, up and around, creating that geometry. And Victor is just flying through this oh, model. Oh, mirroring his sketch. You guys remember sketch. how long it took us to audit this model? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Victor just uh, gave it us a little... It definitely took me longer than it took me a little longer than Victor. Victor to model that, yeah. Victor going through there, putting on oh. that fillet, and doing what we call the final spin. And I think we might end up seeing an answer coming in Let's from see Victor it. here. Wow, wow, wow. Zacharu Network coming in with the super chat. Thank you so much, Zacharu. Oh, he's got the mass properties nice. pulled up. And Let's see the answer. I'm sorry, guys. Let's get down here. Oh, okay. he's got and it so in. We do have an answer here, and that answer is 1809 grams, and that is correct. Oh, nice work, so, Victor. Wow, Victor. Very Dang. nice. Wow, wow, wow. Very, very nice job. Wow. All right. What a great way to start this off. This second set of matches in our semifinals. And <laughs> Look at Amad. Amad's coming through there yeah. with the G, 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 G. What a very classy guy. Very nicely done to Victor K. Very nicely done from Imad as well. And that is our first point. The first point is going to go to Victor K. Nice work, Victor. It is not over yet. Very nice. Very nice. And let's take a look here at our next battle here. We're going to decide from the wheel. Be sure to give a GG in the chat to Imad. Be sure to give a